Hi, I'm really excited to share with you my new pen and wash online course. It's the most comprehensive course I've done and I think it's quite good. And I hope you'll think about signing up for it. But if you do, I want you to be really happy and for it to deliver everything that you're expecting. So I thought I'd do this short introduction so you can see whether it's for you or not. So in case you don't know me, my name's Liz Chatterton. I'm a professional watercolour artist based in Berkshire in the UK, and I love teaching. But obviously some people can't come to workshops uh, because they're in different countries or live too far away or just don't really like workshops. <laughs> so I've developed a series of online courses which allow you to work at your own pace when you want to repeat lessons as often as you want and you have lifetime access for those and this is the next in that series. The courses are designed so it's as close as possible to you sitting next to me here and learning from me. Therefore it is not filmed in a very smart TV studio, it is filmed in my working studio. So I don't have a series of makeup artists and uh, hairdressers and clever cameramen to do swanky sort of angles but what I do have is you will be able to hear me and you will be able to see what we're doing so that I promise um, but there will be ums and ahs because I'm not a TV presenter and this isn't the BBC so uh, if that style of film isn't for you then better look elsewhere but if you're happy with the fact that you're sitting next to me working then that's cool. So the second thing you need to know is um, what we're actually going to cover so should we take a look? We start off looking at pens and the different sorts of pens that you might use for pen and wash and I'd really recommend watching this section before you go out and buy yourself a gazillion pens and we'll do a few exercises to put some of those pens through the, through their paces so that's where we start off we also look at inks and the different types of inks we move on to the watercolor side of things so if you've never used watercolor before i give you an introduction to the different techniques whether it's painting wet on dry, wet in wet, dry brushing uh, and so forth. Then go on to some drawing exercises and I take you through um, different ways of really improving your drawing muscles. So look at the way we're holding the pen, we do a continuous line drawing, we do something called blind drawing where you can't see what you're doing, we use our non-dominant hand so I'm right-handed we use our left hand and that is really useful. We also do the very famous upside down drawing exercise which I think you'll really enjoy and then we particularly go through with uh, technical pens. Those are the fine liners that most people might have already. And look at the different sort of marks we can make from parallel lines that you might use a more cartoony type mark, scribbles and squiggles and stylized lines, even dots and pointillism. So that's good fun. And then we raid the fruit bowl or the vegetable rack to look at the difference between using colour first or line first. Ooh, maybe we just pull something out of the garden. Um, lots of different options there. I think you'll enjoy that and you learn a huge amount just from such a simple subject. Uh, you, you know, an orange here printing with that and then using line work um, so we do colour first and then line first look at the difference and, and look how you can mix those and I'd suggest doing those sections in order because they all build up your skills but from then 
there are a number of lessons that you can do in any order you fancy uh, because they look at different techniques and different pens. So this one that is all about using a soluble, a water soluble pen. So I've done a monochrome here and I've done a, uh, this is actually the one in, in the course. So I've done with a black pen and then added colour. Brilliant for urban sketching or for sketching animals, for sketching on the go because the water soluble pen is your pen and your wash in one pen. The next section we look at is dip pens and using ink and dip pens. So the one on the course is actually this goat. I provide you with reference photos, we do a warm up exercise and then work on, on this goat. And in this case we did pen first and then watercolour. That was just an example with a dip pen but instead of adding colour, I've just used washes, washes of ink. So that's one section. And then I use um, a floral example of using colour first and using what I call dynamic outlining. Um, so my philosophy, here's another example, this amaryllis. So my philosophy is that just outlining a painting or colouring in a drawing and you're missing a trick. You want the ink and the watercolour to add up to more than the sum of the parts. So that's what that's all about. Another of the sections is about more of an urban sketch. These are some examples. This is our local pub nether of our local pub just different colourway that's the church in my village and I show you some of the techniques for how to, to build up detail, tone, major shapes and so forth and we will work ink then colour then tone then a bit more ink and I'll show you how you can develop more finished pictures like that. So I think you'll enjoy that one. And then the final subject we cover is portraits. This is the one we'll do in the class and I'll, again I'll provide you with your reference and take you through how we do that. But I just thought I'd show you a couple more examples. So quite sort of sketchy pen and wash portraits. Um, which are a lot of fun to do. And then right at the end, I'll just put that there to remind me more than anything, is I give you lots of resources for further study or books or websites you might enjoy. And this is an example of um, a painting done with a cola pen and there's a lesson or there's a, a workshop on this site for how to use a cola pen. So that's what's covered in the course. Videos, text files, photo reference, it's all there for you. And you can repeat lessons as many times as you want. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. You can access them at any time and it is lifetime access. The first few modules I'd suggest you actually go through in order and then the choice is yours about whether you want to then go on to an animal with dip pen or a portrait and what order you want to do those and that's the joy of doing an online course you know you're in charge so I hope you enjoyed that flip through what's covered in the course and that that's whetted your appetite and you think oh yeah yeah that'd be good my style is quite loose and spontaneous. Yes, there is detail in there, but I don't get caught up in the detail of the ink. Equally, I don't get caught up in the detail of the watercolour. I really want watercolour and ink to add up to more than the sum of the parts. So it's a two plus two equals five situation. If it looks like it's the course for you, it's very easy to sign up. If you've got any other questions, 
please drop me an email and I'll do my best to help you. Bye for now.